at the moment I've got half a tank of diesel and every now and then I will treat the van to some single malt. Uh, obviously it's a little bit more expensive but it don't hurt to run it through every now and then and as you know we don't use the van that often. So uh, if I remember I do like to put some, uh, some good stuff in it uh, and that's what I'm going to go and do now. So every now and then I will do that, treat the van. It can't hurt, can it? Well, it hurts your pocket, but usually when the diesel prices go down, I do try and slip some in. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be good, help with the MPG and uh, cleans the, the system through and stuff, so why not? We're back at the um, Cox's farm shop in out near Halstead. Yeah, Sudbury, yeah, Essex, and uh, we was here back in March. No, back in March. It is March. Back in October, October of last year. We we liked it so much, we came back. I think the video was called "Small Fifteen Pound Campsite, Cheap Campsite, something like that." And uh, we come back, and I've, we're here for the Friday night, a uh, Saturday night. It's now the Saturday morning. I've just been and paid thirty quid for the two nights. Very reasonable. Very reasonable indeed. That's with electric, of course, but there is no facilities. And we're just on that little walk that we did. Well, another there. reason we've come back is because of how wet it's been. We knew this walk is yeah. concrete. Yeah, and it is still muddy. Two weeks after the previous video, everywhere is still flooded and muddy and filled are so boggy and people are getting stuck. The tyres on the van look like they've been half buried. I'll show you when we... Uh, later in the video but we like it here lovely it's nice it's a, a lovely walk here which is you know why we come to a lot of these places or sea hills that always have the public footpaths and the, the decent half decent walks uh yeah and i'm, I'm talking to you my, my coat is sliding further and further down and it's gone <laughs> yeah lovely little place i don't know if you remember or if you saw the video from where we was before we was parked sideways there um they've chopped all of this down we were, we were sort of along there like that and uh there's kirsty just come back from the from the farm shop which is just there that's a lovely place they do breakfast in there a uh, lovely breakfast and lunch and of course a nice farm shop uh, this here in the summer is all pick your own just waiting for a friend of mine actually to turn up he's um lives locally so uh not seen him in a few years uh what'd you get uh, i got these for the girls oh okay leave. okay i was tempted with some fresh scones and and kurt and uh we were just saying and we said before that this is a non-facilities site well kurt has just found the facilities and they're actually just outside the farm shop aren't they yeah well you know they're joint they're sort of at the end they're literally just a toilet and shower one one door all oh, right, okay. You lock it, toilet and shower. Better than nothing, but oh, a bit, yeah. bit of bit of a trick to go over there, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean it's a good like three, four hundred yard walk. Yeah. So you wouldn't really, run it, really be doing that in your dressing gown in the snow at night. <laughs> Stanley, put your thumb up. Give it to you in the thumb. Oh. Smile. <laughs> <Bless> you. <Hey. laughs> Did you have a nice little shower? So look what happened to Stanley there. 
<laughs> he's just asked to use the toilet, which he knows how to do, but asked to wash his hands. But I didn't know that Kirsty had put the shower back up the top and not in the sink. He's turned on the tap to wash his hands and he had a free shower. <laughs> look at him, you're soaked. <laughs> oh, look. Are you wet? Oh, let's have a dry off there. There's a Come towel on. there, Ed. Here's a towel. Use that, use that, that blue, blue, blue towel, mate, yeah. Oh, poor kid. I thought I heard like water and I was like... I thought I heard a scream. That, that's sort of hitting. <laughs> that's okay, close, it's it? soaked. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you left it in the, in the um, sink, so I just thought, oh, I'll hook it up there. Why would you hook it up there? It's supposed know. to be in the sink. No, but you didn't put it in the thing. You put it in the bowl. It's loose. Oh. Oh, you had a free shower. <laughs> it's made your toilet roll wet. <laughs> Don't matter. What he's done is he's <laughs> asked to wash his hands after he's gone to the toilet, put the tap on, and had a shower. Well, we've woken up to a bit of a doom and gloom morning after yesterday's sun. It was really nice sitting there with my friend who brought over the honey, which uh, I do want to talk about that in a minute. But we've just been sat here, well, Kirsty's been sat here looking for sights. Not easy, is it, looking for sights, Shane? No, not with hard standings and little CLs. Yeah, it's all about hard standings at the moment with all this flooding. It's a joke, it really is. I didn't film us eating or anything because you're probably... Sick to death of watching us eating. And I still full up from the last video. Two weeks ago, all that steak. But um, yeah, no chippy around here. But we've got the farm shop. Um, but and we, we brought enough with us this time, didn't we? Yeah. We had fish finger sandwich Friday night. Can't beat a fish finger sandwich. And they were the big old chunky fish finger ones as well. Yeah, nice. Lovely ones. Uh, that went down well, didn't it? Yeah. And so we've just been stuck in, going to be stuck in a van today, really, just watching a bit of telly and um, going to att attempt to walk in a minute because it's raining, but not not really heavily. But luckily, as I said, the sun was out yesterday, which which made up for. A... Oh, yeah, it was lovely yesterday. We sat outside all day. Well, yeah, a good weekend. It was a good yeah all day that was. We were sat outside pretty much. Oh, we had our coats on, but it was still. Yeah, it was a bit chilly, but you know the sun's got some strength in it now this time of year, isn't yeah. it? Sort of we're sort of midway through March. No, March the tenth, I think it is now. So. Yeah, the honey, wow, that was really nice. And he is a registered uh, beekeeper. He's got hives. We've just had some with our porridge. And it was really, really nice. Yeah, you see? Mm. It was good, wasn't it? He's selling it, of course. If you want to, if you want to taste it, if you want any, if you want a jar of it, um, I'll put his email, uh, not his email, his WhatsApp number. In the description below so you can just contact him and then uh, arrange it through him if you want any i think he's doing a deal for x amount of jars and that so yeah yeah we've had to abandon abandon site it's too much it's poor absolutely pouring down now and uh well i don't even know if we're going to get off this hard stand look at this It's a bit of a narrow one to try and get out. Uh, I'm paranoid, I don't know about getting stuck. Well, I really we keep go going on about it. And then right and then reverse back a bit. We could go up there and turn around, but it's only like one sort of hit around there, isn't it? You've got one chance though. Because even yesterday, when the day before, when I was trying to get on here, we went onto the grass just a little bit and the sun was out and it was dry and it, and it spun, so. We just don't want to damage the grass, do you? Well, oh well. We'll see. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for coming along with us. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the notification bell for uh, notifications <laughs> on next time we do a video. Hopefully it won't be wet. Hopefully it won't be wet. <laughs>